down for Cause when I look at you I feel something tell me That you're the kind of guy that I should make a move on Okay, pretty, so let's jump right into this tutorial. We're going to first prime our eye with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I'm using the color, I believe it's called Tan Sand or Warm Sand. I kind of get them confused, but basically I'm going to put that all over my eye. And then I'm not going to prime it. I'm just going to go straight into my Jack on Hill palette. And I'm going to use the color that I'm pointing at right now. And I'm just going to go ahead and blend that in to the crease doing a nice soft transition right now now for some reason I cut out the clip where I was actually blending in this brown but that's the brown I use next and then after that I'm going in with a darker color it's almost like a black and I'm just basically deepening my eyes this is going to make for a better cut crease. Went ahead and cut the crease off camera and now I'm going to go ahead and go in using some pigments that I got. I will have the links down below to everything, but I wanna use this blue pigment. With the pigments, you really have to take your time building up the coverage. Just go in very thin layers or as thin as possible. And then I'm going to take that black color again and I'm just going to start kind of winging my eyeshadow because I want a really severe like cat eye smoky type of look. And I'm going to clean it up with concealer later on. Now I'm taking this yellow green color. Yeah, it's like a green yellow. Um, it definitely looks more like sunny yellow in the container, but on when you apply it, it's going to be more green yellow. And what I'm doing is just merging it with the blue pigment. Like I said, y'all can see the dustiness. This is how matte pigments are. So you have to really take your time, go back and shade and blend everything, and it will all be good and work out well. For some reason, it cut off where I was adding the glitter, but I added a yellow glitter, and then bam, that's what the eyes are looking like. So moving on to the face, I'm going in with the Born This Way Shape Tape Concealer, and I like to use the color Warm Sand and Butterscotch. Either one, which it just depends on what mood I'm filling in. My foundation, I did a Lancome foundation off camera. I just wanted this to be a quick tutorial, so I wasn't doing every single step, but you're gonna get the big gist of it. Now I'm just going to spray my face with the CoverGirl setting spray. That's what you saw me spray. It makes concealer much easier to blend. And I'm taking my beauty blender and just blending my concealer out. Okay, and now I'm taking the same concealer, but in the shade Coco, and this is what I'm going to use as a cream contour. I really love these concealers from Born This Way Too Faced. I have a whole review about it. Be sure to check that out on my channel if you're looking for some bomb concealers. This is it, y'all. And I'm going to blend that out with the Beauty Blender as well. Just taking my time. Take your time in your blending process. A lot of people ask me, how do I get such a nice blend? I really take my time, especially when I'm recording or doing videos or going live. I just take my time. So after I went ahead and set everything, put my powder on, I'm just going into my highlight. I'm using this Lumi Shimmerista Highlight by L'Oreal. Y'all, do y'all see how pigmented this highlighter is? I had this highlighter for a very long time, y'all, and I was sleeping on it. But this woke me, y'all know what up, okay? Because this is everything. Now I'm going in with my Saharian, I believe this is the volume one palette, blush palette. I'm mixing these two colors together. I just want a nice pinky, rosy like flush to go with this and I think it just freshened up the look a little bit. After that, I'm going in with lips. I use ColourPop Limbo Liner and I'm going in with Dial Face by Too Faced Lipstick and I'm just going to go ahead and blend that together. I also put a gloss on top of it just for the shine and that is what you'll see in the next clip. 
but I don't, I didn't have a clip of me putting it on. But anyways, this is what the final look looks like. I really hope that y'all enjoyed this tutorial. Please thumbs up this tutorial if you like it and comment down below. It lets me know that you wanna to continue to see videos like this. Thank y'all so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you on the next video.